Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this very interesting little piece of gear here. This is the Anti Gear Co. Anti Wallet. Um, first off, though, uh, full disclosure, uh, this was sent to me by Anti Gear Co. Um, uh, this is provided to me directly from the manufacturer. In fact, they sent me a couple of these, as well as uh, one of their uh, little wallet sorts of things, or uh, clingy cards, uh, so I could uh, check it out for review. I'm doing my best not to let that affect my comparison, and I told them, as always, it could be good, great, bad, or ugly. Might call it a gem, might call it junk. And uh, so th 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 there you go. Um, next thing, size comparison. Here it is against a uh, standard U.S. credit card. As you can see here, uh, th th there you go. Here it is against the uh, Spydeco Delica. So again, you can see it's not a large piece of wallet here. Um, but the thing is, fundamentally, it is a wallet, thus making it about wallet size. Um, so there you go. And then finally, there were actually two versions of this little guy right here. Uh, we've got one that has this little bar uh, that is actually not fixed. It's able to move throughout the uh, the the, the area here and has a little place for you to hook your keys onto it. Um, and then there is this guy that does not come with the bar. And so I'm going to be talking a little bit about both of those versions, but um, they are both fundamentally the same product. And so uh, there you go. Let's go on ahead and uh, talk about what's good, great, bad, and ugly about these uh, very interesting little wallets here. First off, on the good side, um, I do appreciate the fact that you have the option to attach a key. Um, I don't actually have any loose keys at the moment. I am kind of a key bar devotee because I got a lot of freaking keys. But for somebody who has just like one key to their apartment or something like that, um, then this actually could be a nice choice because you take the key, you put it on the thing, and then you can just slide it into the wallet. There you go. You don't have a big rattly keychain. It's kind of silly to do like a key bar or something like that when you've got, you know, just a single key. So that could be a nice little choice there. Uh, and so that, that's kind of a good idea to have that availability. Um, next thing, this guy can hold a pretty ridiculous number of cards. Here, I'll transfer another card into the, here. Uh, this is their little clinger card, which allows you to hold on to other gear that's not just cards uh, in there, and this is absolutely just fine. This has a bunch of different stuff in here. I mean, in this one alone, I have a freaking bus pass, I have a credit card, and then just to give you a sense of the other things you can carry, I've got this guy with some, uh, you got a USB memory thing, a uh, SD card, some quarters, uh, another credit card, a Z Hunter loyalty card, a uh, health insurance, a uh, Cutco card, a uh, driver's license, employee ID, and of course my reviewer's mutual credit union card. In addition to that, I actually have inside here a uh, tile, uh, which is, uh, and I'll, I'll show that off in a sec, actually I'll show it off right now. Um, this is a little device that helps you to find your wallet and or your phone, depending on, uh, you know, if, if, which one of those you lose. So um, you've got a lot of different options here. There is a great deal of capacity in this little device, and uh, th that's actually pretty impressive, and it lets you keep things at the ready, and in fact, that's the next thing I want to talk about, uh, which is that it lets you keep your cards very much at the ready here. So let me slide this into place here. Because very often, you're using the same cards over and over again. In my case, I am very regularly using the uh, freaking bus pass and using the actual credit card here. Everything else in the middle there, I can dig through if I need it. You know, how often you need your driver's license? Well, no one checks your ID at the credit card purchase, so it doesn't really matter. So you can keep all of this stuff, you know, in the middle there and have quick access to the couple of things that you need on a regular basis. And you could do multiple cards on the outside, too. There's no harm there. So that's good. Next thing, this is actually a very compact little piece here. This is uh, my actual wallet containing my actual card, so I'm not going to pull it out there and whatnot. You guys don't need my credit card information. What you can see here is that this is actually very similarly sized. This actually has a couple of more cards in it than my normal uh, wallet does, but size-wise, it's actually more compact in a lot of dimensions here. This was made by uh, uh, Rob's Kydex, uh, but anyways, that is a... Um, it's a very, I'm sorry, not Rob's, Ky, uh, Rob's Kydex, that's their PayPal. It's Bentley Leather and Sheets. But anyways, you can see here that this is actually a little bit smaller than a conventional wallet here, even with a bunch of different things in there. So that's that's very nice. Um, so there you go. By the way, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of an Amazon addict, even though you shouldn't use them for knife uh, purchases and probably not for watches either. The authenticity issues, that's beside the point. Um, so anyways, there you go. Next thing, um, this is actually a, a good way to carry other weird items. I showed you already that I had the tile kind of tucked into the background there so that it, it wouldn't come, come uh, you know, coming out. It would be tucked into this area here. But even though it's strangely shaped, it carries surprisingly well in this wallet. You can also do weird things like this. Using their, uh, 
little pingy card thing that holds on to a spare key or something like that, that holds on to a, uh, for instance, a memory card for your uh, phone or something like that. That's a nice little thing. Um, you can also use other things. Like, for instance, if you've got one of these credit card tool sorts of things, these things are awful. You probably shouldn't buy one of these guys. This was one of my earlier gear review purchases and one of my early gear regrets. I'm sorry, not gear review, just gear purchases. I bought this way before I had a regular credit card. But nonetheless, it holds it nicely, even though it's not sized remotely like a credit card. Similarly, um, if you've got uh, something like a tile sort of unit that you can do, um, if you've got a um, an NFC transponder, a lot of cars are now using near-field communication instead of a, uh, a classical key. So you just keep a card in your wallet, but those cards tend to be thicker than most. And so this actually copes very nicely with weirdly thick cards. You can also throw cash in there. That's the other thing. You can fold up a check and keep it in there. I, I you know, I kept the picture of my fiance and there were the wife. She's the wife now, guys. Um, but I kept a picture of her in there along with a $20 bill. You can throw a lot of random stuff in there and on the outside. So I like very much that you're not limited to things that are conventionally credit card shaped and dimensioned in the same way that you are with other wallets. So I like that very much. Next thing, I gotta say, the cards are actually secure in this guy. I'm trying my best to knock the card out of there and it's just not coming. And so in all of my time carrying this, and I probably carried this for the better part of like two weeks, first the one with the bar and then one the one without, Never had any issues with cards coming loose or coming out of there. So that's that's very, very nice. And then finally, on the good side, the price of this guy isn't going to empty your wallet particularly. It's a $20 uh, item here. And you know what? I can't really argue with $20. Bucks. Um, very, very few wallets worth a damn are that cheap, and this one works well. So um, I, I, I got to say, all of that is the good here. It is $20. Bucks. Um, the, the cards are secure. It is cash-friendly. It carries weird cards and items well, even things that aren't classically card size. Um, it uh, is very compact. It has, oh, a nice logo. I forgot to mention that. It holds a ridiculous number of cards, and you do have the possibility on the one with the bar here to throw a key in there and tuck that into the back if that's uh, that, that is how you work in there. On the great side is the ease of access that I already talked about. Uh, whoops, sorry, <laughs> I thought I left that out, but no, that is actually what I have written down here as the great, and it is true. It is very easy to get to something very, very quickly, and if you're using um, near-field communication cards, uh, for instance, if you're an employee, I ID opens doors. If you keep it on the outside there, you can just hold this up, whole thing up against the uh, the reader and it'll usually read right through. So um, that's that's a beautiful thing. And to me, that's what's great here is that the uh, easy access for these outer cards is is just phenomenal. Um, on the bad side, um, first off, this is something that I'm worried about, but I have no real evidence to be worried about. So please don't take this as anything more than speculation. The thing is, in my life, elastic doesn't tend to stay elastic forever. Um, so far, I have seen no sign of that. In fact, the, the you know I, I can stretch this guy out just as much as I'd like, and it just goes back to being just as elastic as before. But I don't see any any kind of elastic-based solution like this surviving the ravages of time well. It, it might work well for a while. It might work well for five years, maybe even ten years. Who knows? But I just, I question whether the, this is going to eventually start to lose its stick just due to, or it's a uh, spring, that is, just due to the fact that elastics age. Rubber goes away. I have no proof of this. And But, you know, this is something that always scares me with something that relies heavily on a, a cloth-style elastic. Um, but then again, maybe the new ones are better. I don't know. Um, next thing, this is not a super classy approach to walleting. Um, what I mean by that, and I, I don't mean to sound like a you know a jerk here, but this is sort of something that you wear and it's like a calculator watch. Like, yeah, that, that, that that's really functional. Good job there. Um, but no one's going to look at it as like, eh, hey, that's a classy guy. And I'm not saying that this is much better, but at the very least, it, it it's a, a slightly nerdy affair, I think. That's fine. I'm nerdy. I can't argue with this. I mean, come on. But at the same time, um, this is not going to be something that people are going to... I don't know. It doesn't carry any status. Let's just put it that way. It is function forward, and that's fine. Next thing, um, keys and wallet. Um, I don't necessarily think those two things go together. Like I said, I'm a person with a lot of keys, and so uh, getting the first card in can be occasionally tricky, especially if it's weirdly... Uh 
weirdly shaped. There we go. And this one's got cutouts on the top that make it trickier. But anyways, um, what was I saying here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't necessarily know that having both your keys and your wallet together are a, uh, a, a great thing because very often you keep your wallet in the same pocket as your cell phone because you get something soft and then you get something hard, uh, something hard so you, your wallet's not going to scratch up your phone or your knife, etc. Um, th th that's, that's something to keep in mind. And so by adding this piece of metal up here and by adding your keys to that, especially if you've got a lot of keys, that may not be an option. Um, and especially if you've got weirdly shaped keys. I mean, my car key is a big old, you know, hunk of transponder sort of thing with the, rebo re blah, the remote and buttons and everything. So that's, that's, that's not going to exactly work there. Then finally, the bar thing. I got to be honest, I did not like the bar at all. And th 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 there were two reasons for that. Partly, if you don't have anything hanging off of it, this guy just kind of hangs around. It just, it folds over and it blocks your access to this card. You can kind of tuck it down in there, but then your wallet becomes asymmetrical. It's, this bar is not something I really appreciate. Um, it doesn't have an easy place to call home if you don't have keys. And so if you're not planning to use this as a key ring as well, uh, or if you don't have a, you know, compelling use case to have the bar on there, I would recommend actually you buy without the bar. I think the majority of people are probably going to like this wallet better barless, uh, unless you're doing the, the weird key stash thing. It's not going to work well. And so, although it's not currently an option on the website, they've told me that they're planning to sell these guys barless. And I like this guy probably 60% more once I got one without the bar. So, um, there you go. That'll be an option, hopefully, by the time this airs. And to me, all of that is the, 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 the bad here, is that the bar is not a great thing if you're not using it actively for the keys. The keys in the wallet aren't necessarily something that goes together. It's not something that is super classy in the same sense that a nice leather wallet can be, or even a really nice cloth one. But it is function forward, and, you know, can't argue with that. And the elastic thing scares me a little bit, just because I haven't had great experience with elastic over time. Um, on the ugly front, honestly, there's nothing particularly ugly here. I mean, some people are going to find it, it, it aesthetically not to their taste, but whatever. I, I think to me it works great. And so final conclusion, I, I, I think that this is a really nice and frankly different approach to card holding. It's not a wallet in the classical sense, absolutely not, but it is a great way to hold a lot of cards. And specifically, it's also a great way to hold other weird stuff as well. The fact that you can throw a tile in there is fine. If this is something that you like, you know, to find uh, if you're constantly losing things, this is not a bad approach. I mean, to throw something in there like that. Or if you use their little uh, clinger card, which I'm planning to do a separate review on, because this is a neat little idea here. But that's, that's a really nice thing. And if you've got other kind of weird things, like an NFC-based car key or something like that, this is a, a really compelling choice. And it's something that might bring you options that a conventional wallet won't necessarily. And I think it's also a really nice uh, sort of it's a non-wallet approach, but it's different than these kinds of things. This is a machine era, machined wallet sort of thing. And honestly, I'm going to do a video about these separately, but hard wallets drive me a little bit crazy. Um, I, I've tried them a couple of times, and each time it's just like... Yeah, it's not my style, and so this offers you all the accessibility, all of the the, the, the compactness of a very hard wallet, but it uh, still offers the, the the softness, so to speak, of the cloth, and it, you know, there's not much else in your way here. And so I, I really think this is a great idea. I think whoever came up with this, I probably anti-gear, uh, had something excellent, and this is going to be a great choice for a lot of people. In a lot of ways, though, whether this makes sense for you specifically and above and beyond the normal wallet is going to be more of a question of what all you have in your wallet. Um, if you use the bar, if you want to hang a single key or a couple of keys off of this, then this might be way more compelling than a conventional wallet for you. Or if uh, you want to, you know, use a tile, you want to use an NFC transponder, even like the little tiny, you know, key fob transponders they have for like uh, uh, condos. My godfather's got one for his condo. I mean, th 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 those kinds of things, those work well. And if you're EDC, if the stuff that you carry in every day fits well into here, then great. This might be a great choice for you. And there was also the aesthetic thing. Are you a person who wants to be carrying something like this or something like this or something else entirely? Um, this, you know, is someplace in between, you know, bind the clip and, you know, a uh, good old-fashioned nylon wallet. But the thing is, um, you know, for some folks, that's going to be a deal breaker. But the thing is, it's a really cool idea. I, I think it works well. This is something I actually enjoyed carrying a lot more than I thought I was going to enjoy carrying it. And uh, on the whole, I have absolutely no problem recommending it. If this looks like it's solving some of the problems that uh, you, you may have, or frankly, if you just looking for a very different approach to a wallet, then I think the anti-wallet might be pro-you. So there you go. Hope this has been interesting to you, and uh, have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.